In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the five main reasons why I decided to switch from Pro Tools to Logic Pro. Coming up. Welcome to the Home Studio Academy, everybody. My name is Nolan Freitas, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the reasons why I switched from Pro Tools to Logic Pro after being a Pro Tools user for so many years. Reason number one and the biggest factor in making this decision is the cost. With Pro Tools, you can buy the perpetual license for $599 at the time of shooting this video. You can also do an annual subscription for $199 or a monthly subscription for $39.99. If you're like me and you sign up for the monthly subscription, you're going to be paying every year $480. On the other end, with Logic Pro, you get a 30-day free trial to try it out, and if you choose to purchase the software, it's a one-time fee of $199. So to me, this was a no-brainer. It doesn't make any sense to me to keep paying for something for the rest of my life. Now, you're probably asking yourself, okay, why if I buy the full version of Pro Tools? Which brings us to reason number two, and that is unlimited updates with Logic Pro. That means that every time that Apple creates a new plugin or they introduce a new function to Logic, you'll get that at no additional cost for life. Now, with Pro Tools, even if you buy the full perpetual license, you'll only get updates for one year, and every year after that, you will need to spend extra money to keep it updated. Reason number three why I decided to make the switch at the time was the fact that I no longer needed an iLock. For those of you who don't know, iLock was a flash drive that you would connect to your computer and that's what would give you access to your Pro Tools accounts and all of your projects. And if you were to ever forget that flash drive, let's say you, know, you misplaced it and it wasn't in your bag when you got to the session, you would basically waste the entire day because you didn't have it with you. Now with Logic Pro, you don't need an external hardware, you just need to sign into your Apple ID account in any computer and you're ready to go. Reason number four is the sound library. After having the opportunity to record in many professional studios, I found that most pros use external plugins to emulate whatever sounds they're looking for. This means that they use Waze, UAD, Guitar Rig, Isotope, and many others to emulate the sounds that they're going for. However, with Logic Pro, you have a vast instrument library and you can get access to, you know, drum loops, guitar sounds, piano synthesizers. And I'm not saying that every single sound there is amazing, but compared to Pro Tools, it definitely blows it out of the water. The next reason why I decided to switch, and I know that this is very subjective, but it's the aesthetics and customization tools. In my humble opinion, I do feel like Pro Tools is just very outdated and it looks very clunky. Now with Logic Pro, since it is designed by Apple, it has that modern look and feel to it. I find it very user friendly and I like the color scheme and how you know easy it is to customize all of your tracks. I love adding icons and that really helps me keep all my sessions organized. If you decided to make the switch over to Logic Pro, I have made a video that will walk you through all the basics on how to get started in less than 12 minutes, so go check that out. Also, if you got any value out of today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in future videos.